I'm back, back, we're back, back, back. She back. Everybody know that I be running on the track. Skirt. I switch up my hair. hair. These boys love to stare. Papa. I go out Princess J. So subscribe, you know the name. Lego. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, subscribe. Come on. What is up, my J babies? We are back with more hair videos. Yes, y'all love it when your girl do the hair video. So we are back with more hair tutorials. So as you all can tell by the title, today I'll be doing a high ponytail braid. You can call it whatever you want, but that's just what we're gonna call it. And without further ado, we're gonna hop straight into this banger. <laughs> So guys, for this hairstyle, you do want to make sure that your hair is washed, blow dried, and somewhat straightened. I did straighten my hair, but you know, I have 4C hair, so it doesn't really look straightened when I straighten it, which is so weird. But I did straighten my hair, so you do want to straighten your hair as best as you can, just so that it can look nice and sleek. You don't really want it to look too bushy and curly if you're going to be doing a straight ponytail, if that makes sense. So that is the first step. Next, you want to go ahead and start positioning your ponytail. And I really didn't want my ponytail at the top of my head, but I also didn't want this to be a low ponytail. So I kind of combined it and made it in the middle, but the end results kind of look like it's more so up. But my plan was to make this a middle type like ponytail. Now, girlies, y'all already know we work in sections on this channel. This wouldn't even be a hair tutorial if I didn't work in sections. So right now, I'm just parting my hair into two sections because, you know, you want to work diligently when you're doing ponytail. So that's what we're doing right here. And I'm just tying this part in the back so that I can take my time on this hairstyle. Here I am just going in with a wax stick. This kind of helps so that the hair won't be frizzy, but you guys will notice that my hair still is frizzy once I use this. So later on, I will go in with some edge control and just show you guys how to touch it up so that it can look nice and sleek. If I got locked away, if we lost it all today, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? If I showed you my flaws, if I couldn't be strong, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? Now we are taking our second section and repeating the process that we just did on our first section. Girl, you just like me. I know that you nasty. I know that you nasty. I know that you let your head down and you slow down. I'ma drop better. I'ma drop better. I'ma drop better. So 
taking my edge control and just sleeking it up just so that it can look as neat as possible. So that's what you want to do and just brush it up with the hard brush. She used to work at King of Diamonds on a Monday Only hit the club on Saturday and Sunday I used to pull up every week, you should've seen her The way she did it, nobody could do it clean up I seen her in the suit for my birthday And I can tell you the reason it is a Thursday Now mama get it in here, don't know no worst day Now mama get it in here, she fit the spoon in the gym into a work day I'm strong, she got me doing the dishes I didn't get down when the clip was to an extension You so bad, yeah, you so vicious I'm so glad that you are not his chick She wanted a nigga, got the right one here I am taking these wrap strips that you just wrap around your hair just so that it can stay intact while I'm going to start on the braid. I do suggest that if you want a really long braid that you get long hair that's already pre-stretched because it just makes it look better and it makes it easier to do. You won't really have to add on too much hair during the braiding process. Right now I am just taking off a small portion of the braiding hair and you want to leave this part alone so that you can use this part to wrap around the braid. You want to go ahead and start drafting your braid out right now so I am just sectioning my real hair and the braiding hair into three sections so that I can go ahead and start the braid and then you want to go ahead and start braiding. However you braid, do what you do. You want to make sure that you are trying to braid the braid as tight as possible and every here and then you want to add just a piece of hair so that the braid can remain thick and then you just want to braid tighter and tighter as you're going down.
you want to go ahead and take that piece that you left out earlier and start wrapping it around your braid. Alrighty guys, this is the final product of my ponytail braid, high ponytail braid, whatever you want to call it. I love it. I think this hairstyle is so cute. And it's pretty simple and pretty easy, so I would tell y'all to go ahead and attempt it. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. Roll to 500K, guys. We are so close. Let's get to 500K before 2020 is over. We got it. And have a blessed day. Toodles! I'm back, 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 back,